I said, boy, I'd like to have my own record company and call it Old Boy. And she said, why? And I said, well, when things are going real good, I could just go, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what a year we've had. For more than four decades, Oh Boy Records has served as a model and inspiration for artists who record and release their own music on their own terms. Founded by John Prine and his manager Al Bonetta in Nashville in 1981, Oh Boy Records immediately established a relationship of trust with loyal fans and new listeners alike while making some incredible music along the way. With a major label contract behind him, and long before the internet, John launched Oh Boy with a charming recording of I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, released on red vinyl with silver bells on the B-side. That's how I started uh, Oh Boy Records. That's my record company. I'm the president. I'm a mogul. John's fans ordered it directly from Oh Boy, a business move that not only kept costs down, but also forged an enduring bond between the audience and the artist. On the left. In the 1980s, the albums Aimless Love and German Afternoons conveyed John's sharp wit and poet's touch. Through songs like Unwed Fathers and The Speed of the Sound of Loneliness, John satisfied his creative ambitions while keeping the lights on at Oh Boy, with fans eager to purchase whatever came next. In this case, a 1988 live album recorded in California. We are living in the future, I'll tell you how I know. I read it in the paper 15 years ago. John loved telling talk show hosts that he was also the president of Oh Boy Records, and it wasn't just an honorary title. John, Al, and operations manager Dan Einstein kept the label small but mighty. When he wasn't on the road, John would clock in at the office and sign off on every business decision. In later years, he would proudly take his own paycheck to the bank. As Nashville's music industry boomed in the early 1990s, Oh Boy Records made its own mark with the 1991 album, The Missing Years. Produced by the Heartbreakers bassist Howie Epstein, with an electrified edge, The Missing Years pushed John out of his comfort zone. But not too far. Bittersweet songs like All the Best and You Got Gold earned a rightful spot in John's deep catalog of classics. I got a new way of walking and a new way of talking Honey, when I'm around you the Missing Years sold more than 250,000 copies and won a Grammy for Best Contemporary Folk Album. Major labels came knocking, offering to purchase Oh Boy Records, but to no avail. Yeah, we're not going to go away. <laughs> Instead, Al and John expanded their roster for the first time by signing Nashville band The Biscuits and packaged a handful of live tracks and holiday songs for the album A John Prine Christmas. John reunited with Howie Epstein for 1995's Lost Dogs and Mixed Blessings, which leaned into rock and roll on songs like Ain't Hurtin' Nobody, but never lost the originality of John's writing. I ain't a hurtin no one. The album's tour de force is Lake Marie, a rousing six-minute song that Bob Dylan cited as his favorite John Prine song. In a black and white video. In the years that followed, Oh Boy released new projects from Heather Eatman, Donnie Fritz, R.B. Morris, Dan Reeder, and Todd Snyder. John concluded the decade with an album of duets, featuring some of his favorite female country singers, including the beloved title track, In Spite of Ourselves, recorded with his good friend, Iris Dement. In spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize. The label faced its share of setbacks in the late 90s and early 2000s as John recovered from cancer and the music industry shifted from physical product to digital downloads. Amid the uncertainty, Oh Boy maintained an active release schedule of live albums, new signings, and an acoustic collection titled Souvenirs that spotlighted John's best work from his early career. The 2005 album Fair and Square solidified John's stature as a songwriting giant leading to a second Grammy for Best Contemporary Folk Album. The long stretch of time between John's solo albums underscored Oh Boy's commitment to quality. Thirteen more years would pass before the next one, the Grammy-nominated Tree of Forgiveness. Wow, look. <laughs> the new John Prine record, The Tree of Forgiveness. I ain't got nobody. I ain't around my doorstep. I ain't got no loose change. Just to hang around my jeans. 
Following Albanetta's passing, in 2015, John turned to his family. Under the steady hand of his wife Fiona and eldest son Jody, Oh Boy Records continues to be a thriving family-run business and the second oldest independent label still in operation in the U.S., signing the brightest rising root stars such as Kelsey Walden, Arlo McKinley, Trey Burt, and Emily Scott Robinson. Nearly three years after John's passing, he remains one of our most loved artists. Al used to say, John Prine only gains fans, never loses any. Oh Boy was built on that foundation. In 1981, John Prine and Al Bonetta took control of their own future and created a model that would challenge and reshape the industry. Today, Oh Boy Records continues to be a testament to their vision that burns brighter than ever before. That's the way that the world goes round, yeah, one day, the next day.